So hello everybody, how are you doing? You can already see it by this almost squared steering wheel that we are sitting in a very special Audi today. Um, this is actually the new Q4 e-tron as the top of the range, current top of the range model, the 50, which has Quattro, 306 HP and up to 460 newton meters of torque. And of course, we want to find out how fast the car accelerates and also goes uh, onto the top speed. We have also brought our race box with us, but I have to tell you up front that this car is not going to do 100 to 200 on the Autobahn as it is actually electronically limited to 180 which of course makes a lot of sense for an electric car because you would not be driving at very high speeds um, constantly anyhow. Nevertheless, I think we have put everything in the sporty setting as in a normal Audi, you can also put it to dynamic. That's what I've done. I've also put the traction control into the sport mode in order to, let's say, get the best launch out of it. Also, the um, battery is charged up to 92%. It's not fully charged. And we have a bit of, let's say, damp uh, track and, and wet surface on the road. But nevertheless, let's see how this goes off i think the first interesting part is really how quiet the car is inside that is really really amazing and before we set up i want to show you something which we can actually change in the setting here that we have the possibility to have different light signatures on the outside the daytime running light you can actually adjust to have three different modes you can change it in the setting here and every time you start off you have that setting then available outside i think you can see it on this clip right now it is really really cool how the car changes the appearance in the end um, to really yeah have the look that you want to have from this car from more elegant to more aggressive. to do a 6.3 seconds and um, even a tiny bit uphill 0.3% of uphill run. Um, I think that shows that the claimed 6.2 from the factory is possible specifically because we did this run with 80% of charge uh, more or less and not the full let's say 100% of charge and you can also see that the high speed stability of the car is very nice and it also accelerates quite decent to 160 180 I think this is what you would normally do once you run the car even on the German Autobahn so I think it's it's quite capable and for the, all the other countries of course where we don't have the Autobahn um, and you have a very very strong um, acceleration up to 100 to 20 130 kilometers per hour um, yeah I think overall pretty amazing specifically by the good let's say noise isolation the car unlike many other electric cars is very let's say well isolated from the surroundings specifically low tire noise low road noise I think that is something that is very interesting the cabin feels a lot more let's say premium and luxurious from a noise perspective than you would expect from a car in this league feels like more in the direction of an uh, I don't know it would even say a7 s7 r7 in that in that direction uh, or a q8 or q7 rather than it feels like a like a compact compact vehicle and, and therefore I think that's pretty good also I quite like that this interior is very Audi-ish and um, everybody that is let's say an Audi fan will be familiar with this stuff uh, in, in, in a few seconds and um, also steering wheel everything else is, is very nice also I, I have not driven the Volkswagen GTX yet which is more or less the sister model also 306 HP 460 newton meters of torque with the same MEB platform but I would probably say I would go for for this car because um, it has the same ingredients but more 
luxurious stuff and the price difference is likely not that big um, also there's no weight difference no performance difference in the end so yeah overall i think a pretty cool thing um, please stay tuned for all the content that we also put on instagram and facebook and tiktok um, we have some nice reels over there we have some nice photos also showing the exterior of the car and some nice features so um, definitely one of the cars that i am interested um, could be even a potential successor of our golf 7.5 r um, a car that we need to replace very soon and therefore i'm also looking at other options than the, just the regular hot hatches and i think this is more or less the first compact m electric car that that i i really consider buying